Hello everyone, welcome to the nation, and uh, today we <coughs> we're back with another Pokemon Go video, and uh, today is going to be a really big evolving video, I have a bunch to evolve, Un <coughs> unfortunately none of the starters are ready for me, um, I still need four more candies for my Charmander to evolve, um, I still need a bunch more for Ivysaur, and I still need a ton more for Squirrel, because Squirrel absolutely hates me, and he leaves every time. But after all these Pidgeotos, we've got a bunch to do, so I'm going to switch over to favorites because below these are the ones I'm going to upgrade. And we've got some really big ones. We're going to have a Poliwhirl go to a Poliwrath, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, we're going to get a Slowbro, um, a Dragonair, another Starmie. I do have a Starmie already. Um, I, uh, I'm getting another Tentacruel because I already have a Tentacruel. And uh, No Man's Sky is right here. It's it's uh, loading up because it just downloaded. But uh, we got Sand True, Horsey, Shelter, and then my. I'm super excited. I'm ready for a Gyarados and freaking Rattata. I'm ready for Gyarados, and that's super exciting for me. So thank you, actually, Rattata. You reminded me I need to pop a Lucky Egg. I am now like in the middle of level 20, so that's pretty good. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into the evolve. So I'm gonna start with the not so exciting ones and go to the more exciting ones. So the first one is gonna be Paris to Parasect, and we'll see how this works. I do already have a Parasect, but uh, this one should be better, at least with the IV. I'm not sure though. So there we go, we got the Parasect. That's pretty exciting. I'm going to see here in a second. Yes, it is better than my other Parasect. And I can go ahead and unfavorite that. And um, let's see, what's next that we got here on the list? We can, we're going to do a Star U to a Star Me. And hopefully this is over 1,000. I'm not too sure what the CP will be. But hopefully it goes over 1,000 because I don't, I don't like getting a bunch of 800s and 900s without going over 1,000. Um, but there we go, Star Me right there, and uh, we'll see what CP he's going to be. He's got a pretty good IV too. Um, awesome, 1,030. So that's another 1,000 added to my collection, and I can go ahead. Actually, I'm going to leave him favorited because he's over 1,000. He's pretty good. Uh, he's actually got Hydro Pump, which is a really good attack now. Um, so that should be a really big hitting Star Me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with Tentacruel because I do have a Tentacruel that I caught. But hopefully this is a pretty good Tentacruel. Um, his CP is like 91, I think this one is. Um, so it's pretty good. And uh, we'll see what we get here as soon as the Tentacruel pops up. There we go. That's my first evolved Tentacruel. Um, I have caught one, like I said. I'm excited for the new Pokemon as well that I'm going to be getting through this. I'm not very ma got getting very many. Uh, it's not my highest Tentacruel, but he is going to be my best Tentacruel because uh, my other one is over a thousand CP, but that one has a much better IV. If you don't know what IVs are, they're IV checkers. Um, you basically want them um, above 75, 75 and up, and uh, it really, really helps. Um, if they are, it makes them a lot better. So next, I'm going to go with Sandshrew. I already have a... I already have a Sand Slash, but um, not one that I've evolved, so that should be pretty exciting. I caught a Sand Slash um, without evolving a Sand Shrew, and there you go. There's a Sand Slash. Hopefully, he's pretty good. I'm not sure what CP he'll be. Um, we'll see here. Oh, well, 758. It's not bad for a Sand Slash. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and go with... Anything else I do will be new. I need to unfavorite this because I'm not evolving him. I will be evolving this Poliwhirl. So next I'm going to do the lowest CP, which will be Horsey. Um, I don't have whatever his evolution is called. I actually forgot. I don't have one yet, so that will be a new Pokemon. Hopefully we. it would be cool if we could level up to 21 out of these. That would be really cool. And there he is. That is freaking cool. Hopefully he's really high CP. He might not be, but I can power him up always. 
uh, new Pokemon add to the Pokedex. I don't have a Rhydon. If you see that, I actually saw one on the wild. Um, 720, not bad. I can power him up later on. Um, we can go ahead and do Shelter now. I, I gotta remember Slowpoke's up there. We can go ahead and do Shelter and see what this Cloister is. Uh, hopefully the Cloister is pretty good. Uh, the shelter had a pretty good CP to earn uh, pretty good IV as well. So there's the cloister. And he is going to be oh well, he's a new Pokemon, which is cool. I really want to catch Muck. That reminds me, I want to catch Muck. And he's 845. Not bad, pretty high up. Um, but not over a thousand, so he's not too too good. Uh let's see, what do I want to do next? I'll go with Magnemite. Gonna go ahead and evolve this Magnemite, and uh, we'll see what comes out of this. Hopefully, he'll be good. And we're gonna get. I forget his name, but it'll pop up. I know it's Magna something. And he is a new Pokemon as well, so that's good. Magneton. And he's 880. I'm going to power a lot of these up, so they probably will end up over 1,000, hopefully. And uh, that should be good. Um, okay, so Seedra. Seedra is the one up there. I'm going to go ahead and go to Slowbro, or should I? Is there anything else? No, nope, all the other ones are pretty high up. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Slowbro. This should be pretty cool. I don't have a Slowbro yet, and I've really been wanting one. I'm hoping he's over level 1000 CP at least because he was 501 uh, he wasn't my highest CP but he was definitely my highest IV so we'll see what we get we can power him up if he's not too too good um, I I kinda wanna Rapidash like I saw that there I wanna Rapidash he's 1105 so that's pretty good that's a good water type um, I will oh I need my phone had a low power um, I'm going to have to power him up later. Uh, okay, now it's time for the final three, which are the ones I'm most excited about. So, we have Poliwhirl to Poliwrath. We have Seedra to... Or, not Seedra, what am I talking about? Dratini to Dragonair. And Magikarp to Gyarados. Now, I was actually grinding for Magikarp in an area that had a lot of water and a bunch of uh, Magikarp. And I was getting really close to the 400 range. I'm going to go ahead and evolve him. I was getting really close to the 400 range, and I caught a Gyarados. Now, granted, this Gyarados is only level 800. He's not very high at all, and there's my Poliwrath. And he's not going to be near as good as this new uh, Gyarados because this Magikarp is like 91 IV. And we'll see what we get for Poliwrath. There we go. New Pokemon. Loads of XP coming in right now, and it's only an 888. Ugh. I can power that up later. We're down to the final two. Dratini and Magikarp. Going to go ahead and evolve the Dratini now. To Dragonair. Hopefully he's higher than the Dragonair I happened to catch. I did catch a Dragonair. And he was like 850. So hopefully he's higher than an 850 Dragonair. Um, but there's your Dragonair. He's pretty freaking cool. I really, really want a Dragonite, so I gotta be working towards that. And we got 766. The CPs are low right now, but it's all it's all about the IV because that's what makes them the best, and it really matters. So now Magikarp. I have 463 candies. It was a super, super long grind for this Gyarados, and um, the multiplier is like 10.55. I think is the lowest. Or maybe 10.45 is the lowest, 10.7 is the highest, and 10.5 uh, is right in the middle. So he's at least going to be uh, around 1,600. So he's going to be my biggest um, on the smallest scale, I believe. And uh, his CP or his IV is 91. So that's really, really good. And this is going to be a big, big hitting Gyarados, and I'm super excited. But like I said, it's not a new Pokemon, because I already did catch a Gyarados, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, but unfortunately it can't count for the double XP. 
And there's our Gyarados. I'm super excited to see what it is. You guys are going to see it first. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not there, there yet. What is it going to be? 1366. So it wasn't as high as I thought, but I am going to power him up a bunch because I need a really high Gyarados. And we did get Twister, which is pretty, pretty good. Um, it's not the best you can get, but I believe Dragon Breath is. Uh, but this is going to be a big hitting Gyarados. And I'm out of Stardust. Unfortunately, I didn't listen at the beginning of the game. And I wasted a bunch of Stardust at the beginning. But uh, it's alright. And now we have a full page of level 1000s, which is super, super exciting. Um, I finally got there. I was thinking I'm never going to get there. Uh, the other day I caught a Magmar, which is super exciting. And uh, we got an RK9 that's really high up. And a Vaporeon Gyarados. Executor. I, I need to catch more Executes to get a better Executor. Um, I got two Starmies up here now. A Snorlax, which used to be a huge hitter for me. But now he's not. He's just kind of average. I got an Electabuzz really close. When I catch more of those, I will make sure to get either him over a level 1,000 or catch a level over a 1,000. Poliwhirl, I'm a little upset he's that low, but I do have enough. I'm going to power him up to at least 900, and uh, he's now bigger than the Electabuzz. But I probably will power him up when I get more Stardust and power him up um, to where he's over level 1,000. Um, I do have a Pinsir, Flareon. I've got a bunch. RK9, and what I'm really, really looking forward to is getting a, um, oh crap, what was it? Oh, a Rhydon. I'm get, I want to get a Rhydon, and then I really want the region specific ones like Kangaskhan and, um, Kangaskhan, Farfetched, and Mr. Mime, except, like, obviously you can only get them in, uh, Kangaskhan in Australia slash New Zealand. You can only get Farfetch'd in Asia, and you can only get Mr. Mime. Oh, I'm getting a call. And, um, so, there is a cheat where you can get around the world, um, without moving. And, oh, I do have some eggs that are going to hatch soon, but I'll do that later. And, uh, you can get around the world really easily using a little, uh, D-pad. And I've been using that a little bit. I only, I didn't really use it that much. But... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure you leave a like, um, subscribe for more videos, and join the nation. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm off to play some No Man's Sky, and I'll make some videos of that for you guys later. See you guys.